T today is July 30th, 2017. The owner of this one and a half year old hamster came in today because there was a big lump as you can see in this uh, handphone image. She said that uh, the lump was small so she thought just don't do anything but it became so big that uh, the hamster was uh, licking it then she decided to have it operated now. Okay, so the, the hamster has just been operated. What anesthetic was used? Mm, the TIM and then uh, anesthetic gas. And then you can see it's still sleeping in the lump. How many centimeters is that? About three? Yeah. This lump is actually Four by five. covering the whole, whole uh, Whole body, you can see. I uh, told the owners it has already spread to under the thigh and into the muscle layer. So when we remove the lump, Doctor Daniel Singh remove it. The whole area was uh, wait, how many centimeter? Three. Three times two. Okay, so the hamster has just been operated, so you can see it's still sleeping, still sleeping, and uh, so the tumor was from here to from here, from here right to under the thigh, here to below, as you saw in in uh, as you saw in the just on the image. Okay, thanks. So waiting for him to pass. Pass also, uh. yeah. so it could be an abscess tumor, subcutaneous tumor. The pass is due to the hamster biting and licking it, biting it because hamsters don't like big tumors around the body. We take cotton bud and just clean up the clean up the blood, cotton bud and we clean up the blood. Uh, blood. And uh, if everything's okay, he will be okay tomorrow. But uh, never let the lump grow large. Till you have no choice but to get the vet to to uh, operate because as you can see in this case of this one and a half year old the lump also has got infection inside and uh, it's a lot of bleeding it's a surprise that it survived and that uh, and that the lump did not get into the bones of the leg because it was deep here as well yeah. okay so let's see tomorrow whether he's awake a, a, a or not